What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the WordPress famous backup plugin, the Duplicator, into its free version to rise a website backup. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. After this, go to your WordPress dashboard and review the left sidebar of menus, okay? Hover a mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin submenu. Right here, into the upper right corner of your screen, there is search plugins field. We're gonna click into this empty field and type duplicator, just like this, okay? And here is the guide that we're gonna be looking for, duplicator, backups and migration plugin, cloud backups, schedule backups and more. Click on install now. Click into the activate button. And this is gonna redirect you to the plugins welcome page. Never miss an important update, we can skip this step, okay? There is some things to worry about the features, they're gonna try to sell you the pro version, nothing to worry, okay? All ju just click into the skip and you're gonna be redirected to this part right here. And if you scroll it down, you're gonna reveal the left sidebar of menus on the WordPress dashboard and next to settings you're gonna be able to find a new menu called a duplicator and if you hover a mouse over it and can go to the submenu backups, you're gonna be into this exactly same page. Now review the upper right corner of my screen. Next to this question icon, there is the create new. We're gonna click into this button and we're gonna start creating our backup. Here is the name of our backup. You can change this name in the case that I want. Now all I have to do is click on next. They're gonna be scanning our site to understand how much and how big the backup gonna be, for example, and other parts. You can scroll down and just click on build. Now we are building the backup. Normally it used to take and it can take something like 5 minutes, 3 minutes, up to your server speed and the amount of content that your website have, okay? so. I will not cut the video so you can see how much time the process takes, but feel free to jump some part of the video. While we wait, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. Now the backup is made. Now to store this backup, you need to download, you have the archive and the installer, or you can download both files, okay? Up to you, I recommend that you download these two files and store on your computer into a very safe place because if you need those files, if you need to do a backup, you're gonna need to have the following files, okay? Here are two files downloading. Now, if you want to use this file, there is the import backup feature, okay? And right here, you're gonna be able to import the backup. We have downloaded the files and we are now good to go, okay? Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.